Hello everyone, Shinobi here. A warm welcome to all of my viewers, particularly those 499 subscribers. I'm getting closer there, almost at half the way to reach that thousand subs limit. So if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and if possible, share my videos. So with that out of the way, Today we will talk about how to do Void Tower Hard 50 and if possible Void Tower Hard 60. So I'm going to use my Trista team as usual but there is certain changes on, my, on the gear for my Natalia and my Baron. Um, let me first talk to you about that before um, we go ahead and do Floor 50. So for my Natalia I managed to change my gear set from a guard and pure warrior set to a little bit of speed set and warrior set. So at present her total stats are 5825 attack, 215 speed and 343 crit damage. I was able to upgrade a few gear and manage to change the gear of my Natalia. For my Baron, even though I haven't changed the gear much, um, I was able to uh, give her a couple of masteries and that's because I finished my arena event and Queen of Tide event and um, not the pay to win thing but the free to play way and was able to get a couple of epic books for her and I managed to book her up and give her a couple of um, books, right? so. Yeah, so that means both of their damage has increased a little bit compared to previously, especially for my Natalia, it has increased quite a little bit more. So when you are going to use your Trista team, uh, please take uh, this into consideration, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and do floor 50. So here in floor 50, as you see, I'm using the Trista team, uh, do remember, that the stats of my Natalia has increased a little bit uh, from before and also uh, remember that these runs are mainly heavily dependent on RNG. So if you do not have the right kind of RNG then it is going to cause a lot of problems. Okay, it happens. So uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, it depends upon how much damage is calculated at that point of time whether my Edicris is going to get any bonus hits or not if he's not getting bonus hits how is it going to happen so a lot of calculations go in not by me but by the game and that means you have to retry the flow uh, sometimes two or three times sometimes more than that yeah so luckily I got a few stunts over here so I have three stunts and that helps me out uh, to survive them okay so I just hope that those uh, as many of those present are able to uh, are being taken care of by my team here and I don't take too much of damage uh, it all yeah it is significant these bonus hits over here that's what helps you in finishing off this flow otherwise you will not be able to finish it uh, my Trista did not get a bonus hit, yeah, so I missed out on it. I hope my Natalia is able to take one, take them out. Uh, okay, missed out on one of them, so I hope... Ah. Right, that's fine, that's a taunt, that's fine. So, yeah, I did not take a lot of damage at this moment. Now it all depends upon how my team will function in the boss flow. And here I will use the stun spell to stun Evera because Evera needs to not take any turns. Okay, I've got two water champions over there. Okay, two water heroes are mine. So I have to ensure that Evera doesn't take a lot of turn until, uh, in fact, any turn at all, until um, her uh, battle, uh, you know, that battle buff re gets removed. So until that point, I have to ensure that she doesn't take any turn. So uh, right now, I, I'm lucky that all four of them have got stunned. That means in the next round, my Tia will be able to freeze them up and I do not have to bother about um, 
trying to use her freeze in the first round and anyway it's always preferable that you use the freeze on the second round rather than on the first round so let's hope and see i can stun evera here yes so evera got stunned again and that means that even if i do not uh, i i do not successfully land freeze on her even though i will be making her the main target even if i'm not successfully um, landing the freeze on her she will not be taking an action and that buff on her is going to be removed after the second round all right let's do this again and then we can freeze everybody so that means i'm safe tia is the slowest here so they all will be getting their buffs removed so now when i use my natalia unfortunately natalia got her speed buff on her i should have used the defense down on them before but i was waiting to get it to two turns so i hope she's able to land it on somebody only on celine gosh i hope i'm able to take them out okay let's hope that my um prista or my uh Edicris here are able to stun Evera. She needs to get stunned. That's very important for us now. Yeah, she got stunned. So Edicris was able to stun her. So every single time what I'm going to do is to see if I can stun Evera until I'm able to take her out. Okay, so that's my aim. She is frozen. So she should take a lot more damage. Okay, she got unfroze. Okay, now I think she will get stunned again. That's great, awesome. So overall, I'm keeping on keeping her stunned such that she is not able to take any turn as my Natalia is weak affinity. You know she's weak affinity to her, so the kind of damage that she can receive is limited. Okay, so let's see if I can stun her again. Once again, once again, we were able to stun her. Even if Edicris would not have stunned her, she would have gotten stunned when uh, Trista goes in because she already has an ignite on her. So Trista should have been able to stun her. There you go. So floor 50 is done. Okay. So we will look at floor 60 after that. As soon as I reach there, we will look at floor 60. If I'm not able to reach there, this will be the end of the video. Okay. So please hold on until that time. All right. Let's look at floor 60. Okay. And it's a tough flow. Baron over here will hit like a truck and Blackhorn will cleanse and heal. CC will do the similar kind of action and you know Light Nicholas requires us to beat him twice. It's going to be a lot of RNG that's going to come in play here. If I'm not getting those RNGs then I am not going to be able to finish this. That's the problem with this flow. Okay, it's a big big problem. So I hope I'm able to overcome the RNG requirements. Otherwise, it's just goodbye. All right, yeah, so far so good. My Baron Wall got good uh, crit on those red affinity people. Stun Nicholas, try and stun Baron. Okay, Baron got stunned. Blackhorn got stunned, CC got stunned, I am so happy and so because this has happened I am not going to use Trista's ultimate in this round because I do not want, I want to get as much chance as possible to stun Baron, keep on stunning Baron and Nicholas. It's very important that I get all those stuns and I hope that Baron doesn't take any additional bonus turns. If she takes bonus turns, then I will have a lot of problem. Okay, I'm going to put that defense down on, defense up on everybody, defense down on everybody and try to get the Baron, the CC stunned. Uh, I need to stun CC, I need to stun Nicholas, Nicholas is stunned, that's great. I hope I can get, I can freeze that uh, CC there. If I'm not able to freeze CC, it's going to be a problem. I'm targeting her. Okay, she is frozen. That is better. This is so much better. All right, let's hope that I can stun that Nicholas again. I want to stun him. Oh, he did not get stunned. 
he did not get stunned. That's not what I wanted. At least he should have gotten frozen. I hope he doesn't one shot me. Okay, I'm not one shot and he's frozen. But he's only. <laughs> I'm going to hit him by everybody. I just hope that uh, my Trista is able to stun her, stun him. If she's not able to stun him, it's going to be a big problem. Okay, he got stunned. That's great. That's great. He got stunned. I'm happy about that. I need another stun and I hope I can get that stun. Okay, no stun. Oh, I've got, I've got the ultimate on Trista, so he is going to be stunned. That's awesome. So I need to ride through two more rounds. I hope I can get those two rounds done on him. And if that happens, then that's great. Okay, one more round that I need him stunned. Awesome. Awesome. My Eddie Chris was able to stun him. <laughs> I am so happy. <laughs> He's done for. He's done for. So floor 60 is finished. Okay. So this is a highly RNG uh, area. And let me tell you the truth. It took me three attempts to do this. It is not going to happen in a single attempt. I had to do, this is the third attempt that I had to go through to get the right kind of RNG to finish flow 60. But this flow can be finished by the Trista team. Okay, so um, just to be uh, sure that you know, you know the uh, gear on my um, Baron. So quickly show you Baron's gear. So you know that what kind of gear I have placed on her. So she's got that same average set and uh, warrior set on her. She's at 215 speed this time and has got 301 crit damage. That's because I was able to get 20% extra crit damage from one of those two books that I had used on her on Baron. And she's got 4,274 attack. So that is the Baron that I'm using. Uh, and yeah, so I was able to finish flow 60 um, and i hope i will be able to continue to do further flows using the trista team so let me know what you think about this team composition let me know what you think um, about this void tower hard i know it is really hard uh, i hope they ease it in the next round uh, in the next month but i hope we can all finish off flow 100 um, using a very achievable kind of team and obviously because i was upgrading my gear some of uh, my natalia and baron have got a little bit more better stats so um, that is the that is the part of this game you have to upgrade your gear you have to do something about that otherwise you will not be able to do higher flows yeah so that is that's all from me um so until next time peace love and blessings to all of you see you next time bye